Good afternoon, Wolfpack. I'm Damon Ramos. And I'm Sterling Lede, and today is May 17th, and we're here with your daily announcements. Yearbooks are here. If you order them before the May 1st deadline, you can get it in Miss McCoy's classroom, HG1, after school. Before the... Ret reminder to all students to return books and other items to the library to clear your accounts since summer is nearing. If you have any other questions, look in this week's news Wolfpack newsletter for more information. Now, let's go see Nisha and Ethan for entertainment. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Nisha Samra. And I'm Ethan Newman. We have some news for y'all, so let's get right into it. Tears of the Kingdom released last Friday with significant numbers and positive reviews of launch day. Unfortunately, there were tears coming out of my eyes that day because my Switch broke on the day of launch. So yeah, you know how it is. That's kind of sad. But anyways, uh, the FNAF trailer has been released and fans are super excited about it. For those who aren't familiar with the storyline, a security guard starts working at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza and on the first night he finds out the animatronics do get a bit quirky at night. So, yeah, so far the trailer looks amazing, and the movie is planned to be released on October 27th. And on that day, I'm going to go to Chuck E. Cheese. I don't know why you'd share that, but have fun, pal. Okay. The live-action Little Mermaid is coming out on May 26th. The storyline, it has changed a bit. Instead of Ariel having a biological sisters, her sisters are rulers of different seas in their own realm, like different areas. It kind of changes the lore just a tiny bit, but overall, I think this movie might be one of Disney's better live actions. I, I really hope I'm right. Yeah, me too, but who knows? And this is unfortunately our last entertainment segment of the year, so yeah. Thank you so much for watching us, and we hope you all guys will have a great summer break. Well, we're done. I'm Ethan Newman. And I'm Nisha Samra. See y'all later, Wolf Pack. Back. Wow, thanks, humans. Honestly, you look a little like Ariel in that graphic. <gasps> oh my gosh, I look like a pretty, pretty princess. <laughs> Anyways, seniors, don't forget to sign up for Senior Sober Grad Night, May 24th from 10 p.m. to 4.30 a.m. at Country Club Lanes. Activities will include laser tag, bowling, arcade games, billiards, food and drinks, and more. Tickets are $90 and can be purchased via the Wolfpack newsletter link now. Our graduation ceremony is coming up next, we next Wednesday, May 24th. Please review this week's newsletter regarding EJUSD graduation ceremonies. It's time for our last meeting with our two burly gym bro jocks, Darren Francis and Jonah McCarthy. Darren Francis. And I'm Jonah Mercado, and this is Sports. For our final school sports update, our tennis team won the CIF Sac Joaquin Section D1 Championship last Friday. Wow, what a mouthful. They defeated Oak Ridge High School in a close match 5-4, but of course they pulled through and won their season with an undefeated record like I knew they would. Overall, watching over this tennis team win every game has been such a blast. Yeah, they are without a doubt the greatest of the players here at CO, and so us humble anchors tip our hats to you. And finally, a new story that I wanted to cover for two weeks. A sighting of Twitch streamer XQC who remarks going to his first basketball game at the Lakers vs. Grizzlies. He earlier expressed his excitement to watch his favorites, LeBron James and John Morant, on a stream stating that he can't believe I'm going to see LeBron James IRL, then stating his love for the two players. But everyone has been asking, why was he sitting like this at an NBA game? Maybe his deductive reasoning goes up by 40%, allowing him to bet 200 k on the Lakers and walking out with a 103 k profit. But if you ask me, I think he was trying to determine the identity of Kira, who would, he would presume would be at the game. Well, you never know. And this is going to be it for us, guys. I just want to say thank you for letting us be your sports anchors for the last year. And I'm not really great at goodbyes, but this has been one of the best experiences of my high school. Getting to wake up every morning and come into Wolfpack TV to give you your news. And for me, thank you to all the people who watch this show throughout the year and everyone who dapped me up saying Wolfpack TV and nothing else. But sincerely, thank everyone here. This year wouldn't have been as amazing without this crew, my teammates, my coaches that I've met over this past year. My last word of advice, even if it's just for one year, you don't want to miss out on this. Live it out as if it were your last, because these four years really do, do go too fast. Well, let's do this one last time. I'm Darren Francis. And I'm Jonah Mercado. 
This is sports. It was fun. Back to your anchors. Thank you for your final updates, men of athletic wear. Also, tonight there's a jazz concert at 7. Seniors, remember that you have to return your Chromebooks during textbook returns. When returning them, please include your Chromebook charger and make sure that it is clean and free from any personal stickers. Finally, seniors, don't forget Senior Award Night is tomorrow and Senior Barbecue is and Sunset are Friday. Well, that's all we have for you today, Wolfpack. I'm Sterling Lede. And I'm Damon Ramos. And remember, the strength of the pack is the wolf. And the strength of the wolf is the pack. Happy, Happy National, National Graduation, Graduation Tassel, Tassel Day, Wolfpack! Wolfpack.